In this video, I'm going to show you which components are placed in the Zephyr Delta plane. I started to build this plane a long time ago, but I didn't finish it and I have no videos about it. So, in this video, you will see the last build parts from the almost finished Zephyr. Now, let's start to the video. Okay guys, there we have the right wing Zephyr from Team Black Sheep. And now I show you the setup which I mounted in. First of all, we can go to this and we can lift this up. And inside here there are place for two LiPo batteries. It's for three cell. And on the left here we have a current sensor which goes inside here and goes to the OSD and we have here the ESC it's a 70 amp it's a lot of power and in the middle we have a 3-axis flight stabilization um, module so from the ESC we go through here and go to the motor, which I should mount it. Then we go from the middle to the servos and through this hole over there goes directly to the receiver. It's from Team Black Sheep the TBS crossfire and here we have the, the transmitter and on the other side from the OSD we go with the video to the transmitter for the video and with the antenna here and here we have holes so the hot air can go out and in the front we have a box we can mount it here goes inside and with the cable goes to this FPV camera and we have place for GoPro and the camera and this cable goes directly to the OSD and then to the video transmitter. Okay, now we connect the camera if the FPV works fine. So, like it here. So now we connect everything. We can test the TBS as well. That looks good. Yes, of course. So we connected everything. Uh, no. Nice. Yes, that's okay. That's nice. And look if we have a video no signal if you connect them mm -hmm. okay I think I found the problem for the video because 
now we have the this how do you say this connector and it isn't plugged in to the OST so it isn't powered up. Now I test if this was the problem. Okay, it looks like something happened, but I don't have a, a good video. What is the problem? This one? But oh no, it's very dark. Oh, you can't see anything. Okay, I found the problem. The problem wasn't the FPV transmitter, it was just the settings from the FPV camera. And now I have a nice picture with the OSD, so you can see the amp, the amp, milliamp hours, battery voltage, yeah. And if I move it, you can see it works just fine. So nice. Okay, the motor is mounted and it works very well, but now I have a problem with the propeller. So the propeller don't move very softly, it goes very hard, so I need to fix that problem. And another thing which I'm very scared of is if the blade, the, the, blade, the pro propeller goes more then 180 degrees so it can damage the whole plane here so I need to fix that problem maybe I print a small plate which gives there an endpoint so the propeller can't move too far behind let's see if that works Next I can balance the propeller, with this I can plug the propeller inside here, put it together and now I can place it here and then on the middle position and now I see which direction I have to put on white now on the right side just need a little bit of, of tape like this I place it here and now you can see if I put it in the in the middle yeah. Now I can mount the propeller to the motor. With this, you can plug in, plug it in. I do it first just with the hands because if the motor spins rapidly I, I don't I don't f up and I connect uh, the transmitter okay
Oh yes. Yeah, that looks great. Yes, it goes directly out. So it doesn't mean it is too hard together. Very nice. So I can tighten it harder. Let's do this. What do you think about the components? Would you build in the same parts or recommend other ones? Let me know in the comments below. In another video, I'm going to show you my maiden flight. I hope I wouldn't crash it, so I'm really nervous about it. If you're wondering if I will safely fly my Zephyr, then you should subscribe to my channel for don't missing that video. Okay, goodbye, stay productive.